Hello appraisers, this is Brandon Rich with Choice Valuation. This video here is designed to show those of you who use a Flex MLS system how to set up a custom export so that you can get your data to talk with Spark, the comp importer. Okay, so I'm in ARMLS, which uses a Flex system, but these instructions should work for anyone who uses any uh, type of Flex system for your MLS. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you do is you hover over preferences and then go down to where it says my exports and left click. And now we're going to create a new export. So we'll click new and you name it, whatever you want to name it. I recommend calling it Spark since that's what you're going to be using it with. Make sure this top button is checked, which says detail group names that show in front of the detail name. And also make sure you choose residential. Now, this you don't need to choose residential rental. Spark w is designed to work with uh, both single family and condos and then also with resi with rentals, but but you only need to choose residential. Don't choose rental and you don't need to create two of these. So just choose residential and you'll be set. Click next. And then here all you do is you click on the very top field, left click on that and then scroll down. And then while you're holding down the shift key on your keyboard, left click the very bottom field. You'll see that all of the fields will highlight. If it doesn't look right and you see this instead, then just start the process over. Left click the top, scroll down, hold down shift on your keyboard, and while you're holding it down, left click. And then you can let go of the shift key and everything should be highlighted. Now if everything looks highlighted, you click add. And that takes a few seconds and that will take all these fields and push them over to here. So now you can see all those fields are right here. And if that looks OK, then you click Next. And now this process takes maybe 15 seconds. It's going to go through, take all of the fields that you just put over here, and create a custom export with all those fields. So next you should see another screen, which looks almost blank. And then next you should see your My Export page, which is this. And now you can see that Spark shows up here. This is the one we just made. And that's all there is to setting up a custom export in a Flex system. Now, for those of you who already know how to export data using a custom export, you can just stop watching here. But I'm going to go ahead and show how to actually export your data now. So let's go ahead and get into that. Let's go over to this other window. OK, so this is just a search I just did. It has 13 records in it. And I'm going to make it so none of them are chosen. And this, you can see this is a rental search, but this works for any type of search, regardless of what it is. And I should mention, though, that this, uh, that Spark is not currently, and right now is just before launch, we're not currently working with uh, multifamily properties or manufactured homes, although depending on when you're watching this, that might have changed. Uh, okay, so let's go ahead and do it. So we're going to click Export, it's, which is over here towards the top right. And then you choose Custom Text Export. And from the drop down, you choose Spark. And then right here, just type in the code that it asks you to type in and click Export. Make sure you save it. Just uh, when you're saving it, make sure you save it as a file name that you'll remember that it's associated with whichever report you're doing. And also make sure you save it in a folder that you will remember. So I'm just going to call this Test. And I already have one called test. OK. And I'm going to show you that one more time just to show you one other different method. So I'm going to edit this search and add more fields to it. So let's just change the date back here. OK, so this has 34. And I don't want 34 rental comps. So what I'm going to do is go into that search. And I'm just going to choose the six that I want. I'm going to say, let's choose these. Let's see, I just want six of these to actually go into my report. There we go. You can see that I selected six by using these check boxes. Now I can click on export. And now here, it gives me a different option. Before, it just said export all. But now it gives me an option to export the selected matches. So I'm going to choose that. And it's important to note that Spark allows you to have up to 15 records or I should say 15 properties per export file. So make sure you don't have more than 15 in here, otherwise it won't work. So choose that. Again, you go down here and choose your custom text export, and that is going to be Spark. Now I should also tell you that if you do get an error when you're using Spark and it says the file is invalid, 
it's possible that you just forgot to choose the correct custom text export. A lot of times, I'll still forget to do that, and so I'll choose the selected, but then I forget about this part, and I hit export, and that is not going to get the right information to Spark, and so it's going to give you an error. So just make sure you choose custom text export, choose Spark, type in your code, and hit export. And that's it. Just make sure you save it wherever you want to save it, and whatever file you're going to remember, and hit save. And that's all there is to it. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Bye-bye.